Hello to everybody out there. Um, you know me. This is a Joseph Deladani, preacher, historian, fitness guru, uh, one sexy, charismatic guy. I uh, just want to say hi, everybody. To everybody, it's been a rough week. I had a lot of uh, bad news that came up this week. Um, I'm going to talk about this. I, I think this is a topic I just want to address. Is um, um, just about our whole department where I work was laid off. A lot of people were upset about it, myself included. Try to keep a smiley face, um, but I was upset inside too because you don't know what your future hold, holds. There's that level of uncertainty. It's scary. We found out Monday and Friday was our last day for, for us. Um, wow. Uh, just You go through a bevy of emotion. And it's, it's tough. But at the same time, it's something that we've all been through before. We've been on the job hunt before. I think that... And, and, and we got to remember, stuff like this, this is a part of life, unfortunately. It's stuff like this happens. It's tough for me to say, too. I mean, don't take it the wrong way, because I'm having a hard time. I'm dying inside, too, but... I'm still living my life, still going to the gym, but it is killing me. It's on my mind a lot, almost all the time. And that's what they call a dragon, but more on that later. The thing about it is, um, you remember uh, in 1929 the stock market crashed. People lost everything. After years of prosperity, called the Roaring Twenties, you know, they, they show the videos of making it look like it was a big dance party. But 1920, and everything was prosperous. In 1929, the stock market crashed. Banks foreclosed. Um, a lot of them did. A lot of people, three, three million people, I believe, were out of jobs. No places to work. They had soup kitchens. Uh, people lost businesses. People just lost everything. And, and they had nothing. Uh, Herbert Hoover didn't want to didn't want to get involved with the economy. He said, "Oh, it'll fix itself." He kept saying, "It'll fix itself." Well, we've seen the worst part of it, and he didn't react. And things kept getting worse and worse till Franklin Roosevelt took over as president, turned everything around. But the thing is, that's much worse than what we're going through. And, uh, and even you know, I'm talking to you out there, um, the people that this happened to. And my grandfather told me stories about everybody being, people that worked at steel mills for 20, 30 years being let go. Um, they call it, uh, being let go after all those years of service is when the mills closed down. Um, it's, it's hard times. And I, I've been through the hard times before. I've been through where we didn't have money, where my parents were divorced, where I had to sleep on a floor instead of a bed. Where I couldn't get everything I wanted where money was tight. I know about hard times. We've all been there before. But as the old saying goes, tough times never last, but tough people do. And I know everybody that's watching this, that you're all here, so you're all tough because, you know, I just know that you have that, that drive in you. You just gotta dig deep inside you. And I'm not saying don't be worried. I'm not saying don't be scared. I'm not saying and what I'm saying is be proactive. Uh, you know, you can be nervous, but I know that you have that fight in you. And don't forget about that fight in your heart. You ever hear when they say, that fighter has a lot of heart. Because, you know, you won't quit. You're like the local... Lo um, you out there that are watching this, I want to let you know. I, I love all you guys. You guys are awesome. Let me, let me tell you that. All you people that supported me during hard times. All you people that's liked my Facebook post and that's made comments. That's watched these videos have all been there for me. You know, and that means something to me. That's something that just, deep down, I just appreciate it so much. I love people that listen to me and listen to my problems and listen to my stories and watch things like this and that follow me. Little old me. And, 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 and the people that follow you. Who would ever thought? We're not celebrities. We're not multi-millionaires. But hey, 
You know, if you just have a few friends, man, you're a wealthy person. And you people are awesome. And everybody out there I'm looking at you, and I mean it, is, I know everybody that I'm talking to, you're all going to do great things. You're going to overcome this. You have that dog. You have that fight in you, and you're not going to quit, and everything will work itself out. Uh, I, just, I just know it will, and I know it will for me too. You know, tough times never last. Tough people do. My favorite quote, I've used it for years. Um, I was looking, um, that's a quote I knew. I was looking on the computer and I just came across these. Um, one of the greatest glory comes in, um, doesn't come in never failing, but it comes in how you pick yourself up after you fail. See, how many times has the boxer Muhammad Ali been knocked down? Whenever the boxer Muhammad Ali was knocked down, he just get right back up. You ever hear the sports team that's way behind and they come back and win? And that's what you are. If you're out in the dumps and, and things aren't going your way right now, you're going to make that big comeback. You're going to hit that home run. You're going to hit, you're going to keep chucking and chucking and chucking until you hit that game winning shot or that game winning home run. Because um, remember, another quote, you're not what you've done, but you're what you overcome. I'm not what I've done, but I'm what I overcome. Life's about obstacles. Life's about overcoming. That's just the way it is. Um, but I know you're all survivors because you're watching this. Nobody could survive in this world if you don't overcome obstacles. There's always something, whether you go to school, whether you go to work, whether you go to where, whatever you do, whether you're in a club. There's always an obstacle to overcome. If it's not with you, it's with family. Nobody has it perfect, but you can overcome obstacles. And, and we're overcoming obstacles because it's not easy to survive in this world. It's just, it's just how it works. And I have to tell myself that. And, uh, who knows what may come out of this? They say if one door opens, another. If one door closes, another one opens. And I truly believe that. And Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team the first time. It took him years to win a championship, but he finally did. And I know your situation may be more. I mean, I know your situation is more important than that. But that's just live and prove that you can make it. The thing that eats you up, the, the, the problems that defeat you, what they're called are dragons. And, and I, I just, I just kind of learned this to today. They call them dragons. But if you, if you beat the dragon, you become a dragon slayer. When we have that dog, we have that heart on us, we have that fight in us. We are dragon slayers because we defeated the dragon. Just like in the medieval times, you get out that sword and you slay that dragon. You cut him down, you chop him down. Because that dragon's not going to defeat you. Because we got the heart of a lion. And we're going to defeat that dragon. And just remember that. And if you're going through something, anything not just job loss or, or whatever, make sure that you can, if you want, you can be selfish and make it all about you for a while. You're not being selfish, just you need to vent, you need to talk about it. It's okay. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel depressed. But just don't let it eat you up to where you can't slay that dragon that's eating you up, that's trying to get to you. Um, all my uh, dragon slayers, I love you, and uh, sometimes we need that fellowship with one another. Um, I'm always here for you, and I'm, um, a lot of people say that, but I really mean it. Uh, you ever want to talk to me? I'm I'm here because you know, um, if you're watching this, especially everybody that's connected with me on Facebook, all 300 of you, I'm here for you. And um, you have a friend in me. I think you're awesome, and. Um, I know that we're going to get through this and we're going to make it through this world together. You help me and I help you. And you know, nothing gives me a greater joy than when I see somebody making it, when I see somebody overcoming their dragons. I've had um, other news this week that wasn't so good, um, you know, effect that affect other people that I heard, um, people that lost loved ones. And I have a friend that, you know, he has a mother that has. Um, 
diabetes. She has to go through some surgery to remove some limbs, and it's another thing. Um, I, I just don't know how to. And my my problems are small c uh, compared to those, and I. So just remember, don't don't feel too sorry for yourself, because there's we're all going through something. And let's all remember each other, and let, let us all just be there for each other, and let us all lift each other up. Because like I say, it's hard to beat a team. It's hard to beat an army. You know, people sometimes ask you, you know, well, do you prefer to work in groups or alone? Well, I guess either way would work, but sometimes just four or five heads are better than one. Sometimes four or five people working to slay one dragon is better than trying to fight a dragon all by yourself. And um, I'm making this video, I don't have no cards, I, I just thought a little bit about what I was going to say, and uh, sometimes I'm forgetting things, I'm all over the place, but I just wanted to be this real for you, and I, I just wanted to get this out real quick, because I just feel like I could help somebody, and I hope, I hope it does. Sometimes you, you, when things happen, it, it's a little, you don't want to say the wrong things, or put the wrong, because, or, or, or say things the wrong way. Um, but... I just want to let you know, everybody, please stay strong. Always stay strong, my friends. And just watch this video. And I put another video out about stress before. It kind of goes hand-in-hand -hand with it. But I just, I like doing these videos. People tell me it touches them. And it touches me when I hear that. And so, if you, if you feel that way, let me know. Because I'd like to know. And, you know, if, I, if people, I know, I know people are going to tell me that. But if, if nobody does, if, if only one person does, then I reached one person. If nobody does, then I'd be a little disappointed. But if one person does, that's still one person that's being touched. So I, ho I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just me talking, but I just wanted to give everybody something that's feeling bad right now. Uh, I just want to let you know I'm here for you. I'm just letting you know you can, I can, you can talk to me. Um, and just remember... We're all dragon slayers out there, and I love you all my dragon slayers.